Hello, this is 90 Second Church, and I am Zach, your host for the next two minutes or so. Two weeks ago, I made the argument that if you want to explore the richness found in Scripture, you need to start by recognizing themes and then that play over again in Scripture. Last week, we identified one of those themes. Uh, when humans see for themselves what is good, it leads to death. This week, I want to explore the opposite side of that theme. While our vision can't detect what is good, God's can. We, we sing a song uh, in church that I love. It, becomes, it, comes, it comes directly from Scripture. It goes like this. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Now stop. <laughs> is the bell going off in your head as a hyperlink appeared? Because it should. Taste and see that the Lord is good. <laughs> so go ahead. Let's, let's click on the hyperlink. <laughs> we know that the Lord is good. And we know that God is the one who sees what is good and can identify what is good. There's the theme. How is it being applied here? Well, David is fully aware that our perceptions of good are, are way off. In fact, we talked about this last week. Uh, 2 Samuel 11:2. he sees a beautiful woman, Bathsheba, another man's wife, and he calls her good. The translation you're reading probably says beautiful, but it's that same word, tov. He calls her good. And this leads to the murder of her husband and some really serious consequences for David. And if anyone knows that our sight of good can't be trusted, it's David, right? So instead, he's offering us this advice. There is one thing that we can see and know that it is good, and that is God. It's not as though all we see as good brings death, but rather the things we see in contradiction to God. Those are death-giving. We were made to see the things God called good as good. And as long as we stay within that framework, we find that we are, in fact, capable of seeing good. Well, we see this again in, in Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah was a prophet, and God appeared to him in chapter 1, and he asked Jeremiah this question. Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, that's Jeremiah speaking, I see a brand of an almond tree. Then the Lord said to me, you have seen well, for I'm watching over my word to perform it. All right, Jeremiah, in direct contradiction to most of humanity, sees what is good, or as this translation says, sees what is well. And, and, and why is that? Well, it says so right here, because God is involved in this vision. Because Jeremiah is on the same page as God, his vision does not lead to corruption or death, but reflects reality as it should be. Uh, now, to be clear, this vision is one of destruction <laughs> for Israel because they had strayed yet again. But, but the vision itself is not what God is calling good. The celebration here is that Jeremiah is willing to let God define what is good and what is not. And because he's on the same page as God, that is good. The point is this. If we're willing to refocus our vision and align our sight with God's, perhaps we can see what is good. We'll explore that more next time.